I am unboxing the Dyson humidifier, which kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And other cool mist humidifiers can release bacteria, but this one kills them before the mist is released. So I'm going to see the box here. It also says the Dyson humidifier can cool you in summer and it delivers bacteria free hydrated air in the winter, which is great because winter upstairs for in our house um, gets very dry and stuffy and we all wake up with stuffy noses and headaches and even though they're not um, related to cold uh, we still wake up feeling feeling a little bit stuffy so I'm going to open the box here I don't have scissors so I'll have to use a pen operating manual. Okay. So let's take out all the pieces first. There's the remote. I'll save that for later. Okay. That must go on top. Oops. I want to break that. Put that there. see what we need to do with this part. Okay. This must be the base. Unscrew the cap and fill the tank to the top. Is this the tank? This is the tank? This is the tank? Hold on, let's go back. Okay, we have the loop, the remote. This is the tank, yes, the handle. Okay, the tank. Okay, and in here we must have the plug. Okay, and there's the plug. So I keep all the papers together. All right. So it says to remove the tape. before using. Okay, then that's done. Now we got to fill the tank to the top with water. The tank is here. So you got to unscrew this. No. Oh, yes. Okay. So I'll do that. Fill the tank up with water. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've filled up the tank with water, and it says to place the tank on top of the base. Ensure the base is on a level surface, otherwise it will not operate. So, this piece, that has to go there. Okay, so I'll flip it over. In there, like so. Then, Place the loop amplifier on top of the tank. All right. 
push down on tape until you hear a click. There's the click. Attach the remote control. Remote control docks magnetically. Okay. Oh, look at that. No. Oh, it does. There. Okay. Attach the remote to the top of the Dyson AM10 humidifier with the buttons facing down. Yes. Right. Now, plug into the socket and base. Okay. In. Now that we've plugged it in, switch the power on. The water treatment procedure automatically starts. The water passes over a UVC emitter to ensure that it is 99.9 .9 bacteria free before the misting commences. This takes about three minutes. After three minutes, it says here the Dyson AM10 humidifier will start to humidify. The display will show the target humidity setting. Okay. Okay, so finally, it took longer than three minutes. Probably took about seven minutes or so. Um, but now the humidifier is starting to humidify. You can see the, the steam there. So right now it's at 70%, but you can um, turn it down so that it's not um, humidifying as much. So you can change the settings right here to have less mist. You can turn this down and you see right away that the mist stops pretty much, but it's still working. And then if you want the mist, you turn it up obviously. comes back again. And then this is a different settings. It goes from 1 to 10 being the highest. And 1 being the lowest. Now it has a timer as well. You can... oops. You can do 15, 30, 45, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4, up until how many? 7, 8, 9, 9 hours. Cool. So what's the auto? Auto is, what's auto? Well, you can set an auto. I'm not sure. And then you can also put no mist at all right up at the top. And there you have it.